So we're going to continue the algebra review for my Calculus 1 class. This is problem number 16 from the review handout. So we're going to simplify the complex fraction, meaning getting rid of all the negative exponents. So the way that I've learned how to do this is to first use the rules of exponents to get rid of the negative exponents right away, and then you can simplify the complex fraction. So remember, if you have, say, 2x to the minus 2, that's the same thing as 2 over x squared. Okay, so that is an example of the type of rule I'm going to use here. So I'm going to rewrite this statement as 1 minus 9 over x squared divided by 1 minus 6 over x plus 9 over x squared. Now I notice when I look at all five of these terms, the common denominator between all five terms is x squared. So I'm going to multiply the top by x squared and the bottom by x squared. So x squared over x squared is 1, so I'm not actually changing the value of the expression. So I'm going to distribute that x squared. So I have x squared minus 9x squared over x squared. And in the denominator, I have x squared minus 6x squared over x plus 9x squared over x squared. So I just distributed the x squared to every term. And now I'm going to simplify that. So I have x squared minus 9 because those guys cancel. And in the denominator, I have x squared. Uh, one of these cancels minus 6x, and then both of those cancels, plus 9. Now you're hoping that you're done, but you're not. You can actually factor this. The numerator factors to x plus 3, x minus 3. It's a difference of squares. And the denominator factors to x plus 3, x plus 3. Now let's check to make sure. So x times x is x squared. And I have a minus 3x and a plus 3x. So those will cancel. Then a 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. And in the denominator, I have x times x, which is x squared. x plus 3 plus x plus 3. Or I'm sorry, x times 3 plus x times 3 gives me minus 6x. So it should be minus, huh? So that means that each of these shouldn't be plus. It should be minus. Okay, so because it's a negative 6x, these both need to be negative. All right, so then it's minus 3x plus a negative 3x gives me the negative 6x. And then the negative 3 times the negative 3 gives me positive 9. So you can see that that cancels. So my final solution will be x plus 3 divided by x minus 3. Nothing else cancels here. You can't cancel the x's. You can't cancel the 3's. There is nothing more you can do here. Remember, if you can't factor out a number out of both terms in the numerator, you can't cancel with anything in the denominator. So we are done with this problem.